this will make the narcissist really angry. If you have been involved with a narcissist long enough, you will experience that anger at some point. The reason for this is because they have to be in control. They have to have the power to influence and direct your behavior and the course of events. And they have a lack of empathy. They have a lack of care and consideration for you. They have a strong sense of entitlement. They believe that they are inherently deserving of privileges and special treatment. They want to be special. They want to be better, greater, or different from what is usual. They are highly sensitive to criticism and insults. They can be scheming and calculating. They will try to exercise unscrupulous control and influence over you. They can be very aggressive. You may experience their narcissistic rage. And it will feel very inappropriate. It will feel like it is not suitable or proper in the circumstances. It will feel unnecessary. But anger is just something that goes along with their narcissism. In fact, the angrier a person is, the more narcissistic they are likely to be. When you point out how controlling the narcissist is, when you point out how they always have to maintain influence and authority over you, it will make them really angry. They may become very aggressive. They may attack you. They hate it when you tell them that they're controlling. Because they know that's not good. They know that being controlling is not a good quality. But narcissists lack self-awareness. So they may not be able to realize just how controlling they are. If you say that they're controlling, it's just going to offend them. They're going to see it as though you're trying to insult them. The narcissist wants to be known as someone who is kind and friendly. If you even suggest that they are controlling, it will make them really angry. The narcissist always wants you to listen to them. You will often be bombarded with endless lectures. You will often be subjected to a continuous flow of criticisms or information. The sound of their voice will dominate your every waking moment. In any conversation you have with them, you will struggle to get a word in. They will interrupt you or talk over you. In the rare case where they do give you a chance to talk, they won't be listening to anything you have to say. 
They don't require your input because they think they've got it all figured out. They think they know everything they need to know. They think they're always right. But if you were to call them out on this, if you were to tell them that they never listen to you or take your thoughts or opinions into consideration, it would make them really angry. They are too insecure to even consider someone else's opinions. If you bring up any of their faults and mistakes, it will make them really mad. They will be quick to blame you for everything. They will make accusations and even gossip and spread rumors about you. But if you dare to point out anything that they've done wrong, they will become very defensive. They see it as though you're not allowed to point out their faults and mistakes, but they can point out yours. They have to maintain their false image so they cannot entertain anything that might suggest that they've done something wrong. If you even try to hold them accountable for something, they will just start talking about something you did wrong. They will bring up things that are completely irrelevant. If they can't think of anything you've done recently, they will bring up something that happened years ago. Whatever it takes to take the heat off of them. They don't want to be accountable for anything. They have to see it as though if there's a problem, it must be something to do with you. It must be something that you have caused. Narcissists are very immature. They have great difficulty with managing conflict. But it is very important for you to set healthy boundaries with them. It is essential for your health and preservation. It may trigger the narcissist and they may try to fight against it. But that doesn't mean that you have to jump into the wrestling ring with them. You have to stand firm in what you know is right, rather than entering these arguments with a narcissist that never go anywhere. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survival website at www.narcsurvival.co.uk where you can read my blog posts, book coaching sessions and join a support forum. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvival.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.